Hello friends, today we are going to talk about HDFS and its feature. But before we start with HDFS, let's first understand what is distributive file system. A distributive file system is a client server based application. It allows clients to access and process data stored on the server as if it were on their own computer. When a client accesses a file on the server, the server sends the client a copy of the file which is cached on the client's computer while the data is being processed and is then returned to the server. What is HDFS? HDFS is a default file system of Hadoop and it stands for Hadoop Distributive File System. It is designed to store large amount of data and provide access to this data to many clients. Thus Hadoop application uses HDFS as a primary storage system. HDFS is inspired by Google File System that organizes file and store their data on distributive computing system. To get the better understanding of HDFS, let's talk about HDFS architecture. Here, we will talk about three most important components of HDFS. And these are HDFS Client, Name Node and Data Node. HDFS Client HDFS Client is an interface that is used by the programs to access the data stored within HDFS. The client first connect with the name node to get the metadata of data blocks. Once the client get the list of data blocks with its location in data nodes, the client perform read and write operation on the content of block from the closest data node. Name node. The name node is the master node of an HDFS file system. Name node maintains the hierarchy of file and directories and store all the essential information about the file like file name, path, size and tracks where across the cluster the file data is kept in data nodes also called block management. It does not store the data of these file itself. Data node. Data node is a slave node in HDFS that stores the actual data in a form of blocks and is responsible for creating, deleting and replicating data blocks as assigned by name node. In coming slides, we will discuss the working of these components in detail. Characteristics of HDFS HDFS is very similar to existing distributive file systems but is different in several aspects like Commodity Hardware Hadoop HDFS does not require a specialized hardware to store and process big data. Rather, it is designed to run on low-cost clusters of commodity hardwares, where cluster means group of connected computers, and commodity hardware stands for cheap and affordable servers. That is, it does not require expensive and highly reliable hardware. High fault tolerant. SDFS is highly fault tolerant. Fault tolerance is defined as the system functions properly without any data loss even if some hardware components of the system has failed. In a cluster, when single node fails, it causes the entire system to crashes. The primary duty of fault tolerance is to remove such node which disturbs the entire novel functioning of the system. In SDFS, Every data block is replicated in three data nodes. If a data node goes down, the client can read the data from other two data nodes. Hence prevent the entire cluster to go down and achieve fault tolerance. SDFS is flexible enough to add and remove the data nodes with less effort in cluster. There are three ways SDFS can achieve fault tolerant and these are data replication, heartbeat messages and checkpoint and recovery. 
large data set in context of hdfs large data means the data that are in hundreds of megabytes gigabytes terabytes or even in petabytes in size it is preferable to use hdfs for large sized files instead of lots of small files because metadata of large number of small files consumes a lot of memory space than the small number of entries for large files in main node and hence reduces the performance of cluster high throughput hdfs is designed to be a high throughput batch processing system rather than providing low latency interactive usage hdfs implements the warm pattern that is write once read many the data is immutable that is once the data is written it cannot be changed due to which the data is same across the network thus it is able to process data in a given amount of time and hence achieving its goal of providing high throughput data locality hdfs allows us to store and process huge amount of data on the platform consisting of clusters of commodity hardware since the data is significantly large so hdfs moves the computation process that is map reduce program towards the data instead of pulling data out for computation this minimizes network congestion and increase the overall throughput of the system thank you for watching this video see you in the next video tutorial